And, um, and why did you start making butter and buttermilk? Well, I love cooking from scratch. Right. And I found, as you know, as a cook, the better your ingredients, the better your food. And it's just a fundamental. So is this butter fabulous in pot brise and puff pastry? Oh, this is butter is great in everything. It is. We serve it on the table. Where do you uh, we, get we your use cream? Uh, from a local dairy in Georgia, Johnson Family Dairy, and they're right. just great. And how, very high butter fat? High butter fat, and it's amazing once we clabber it, we go through that culturing process. You can see right now the butter is just coming out. Oh, yeah. That fast. And, and having the sourness improves the quality of the butter that comes out. And so see, here's where it, see the buttermilk the is, buttermilk's coming is out. already out. Oh, yeah. And so it splashes a lot. and uh, well, That's why we have a guard quite, on. Yeah, quite, makes quite a mess. And then that's it. And that's the butter. That was about a minute and a half oh, of wow. churning. Oh. So to me, it's uh, it's really magical. There is the butter. I mean, look how butter is one of those amazing things. You know, it emulsifies on do you, itself. Do you, have, um, do you have salt in here already? No, nope, just left the salt out because I like folding in the salt. And so then we're going to just pour off this buttermilk. Oops. Oh, I know. It's just Oops. awesome. And then we have that, and then we have this butter here, and we're gonna add a little ice water to make it coalesce a little better. I need a little rubber make it, scraper. Make it easier to work with. My hands are clean. Oh yeah, that's, this is organic. <laughs> so well, uh, you never know. So we have, our, I know, we have our butter paddles here, and then we just get in there and we wash the butter in this cold water. Oh, in cold water, oh okay. And, and what's important about that is it allows you to get it together and Start squeezing it out. I used to make butter with my grandma. Oh, really? Yep, up in Buffalo, New York. Oh, really? We got, we got uh, milk from Canada from uh, a relative's farm. Okay, Here, I'll take right that there. away. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you get a little butter and on your I hands. And I love making it. And, she, and they, didn't, they didn't have a refrigerator at the farm. They had a cold cellar. You know, you walk oh, down these cold stone stairs down into the cold, and all the butter and all the milk and cream was put, kept down there. Well, this so is what's so great. It's a preservation. Oh, yeah, but I love their buttermilk, and that's the result, right? The buttermilk. Well, you see that, and what's so different is this is a traditional buttermilk from churning, mm. which it's hard to really buy. Uh, and so it's easy to make. Oh, it's so good. It's good, and, and it's going to be thinner yeah. than a cultured buttermilk. Now, why did it turn a little sour? Uh, just from the natural clabbering of the process of the cream. So you kept the cream out for how many days? Three days at 72 degrees. Important not to let it go above 75. Then you'll get really sour milk, yeah, like but it's rotten not, sour I milk. I know, but it's not going to... The thing is, we get afraid of natural processes in cooking so many times, and this is just such a natural process. So now you, what do you do? Uh, I've got our butter hands here. Uh, they've been in ice water so they don't stick. Yeah. And this is part of... They're cold. Yeah, they're cold, so it doesn't stick. Right. Which is great. And part of this is folding the butter and making the butter cry is the terminology. Get all the moisture out? All the moisture out. You can see the little specks. Call it the tears of the butter almost. And so this is a, a, the difference between having a butter that gets crumbly so versus creamy. if you're creamy. like I am and bought these paddles at a tag sale not knowing what they were for, <laughs> now you know what they're for. Oh, yeah. I have several pairs of those in my basement, dark brown, because they've, you know, from, they're really old. You can buy some antique ones. There's some I, amazing Mine are things. antiques, yeah. And you can see the moisture is starting to come yeah. out. <laughs> Two cups of white lily flour. Exactly. A teaspoon of baking soda. And if you can't find it, you can go to Amazon and they'll send it to you. Right, and it's great stuff. And, and this stuff should be in your refrigerator. And one so, and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Exactly. We put a little salt in there and... Um, and just sift? We, just sift it. Is and that we enough really, salt? That's enough salt. Because we got the cheeses that are going to go oh, into. Oh, okay. An important thing that I, I see, like if to... You didn't, if you didn't sift, heaven forbid, you'd have all those lumps in it. Exactly. Really. And, and also, don't throw those lumps away. Just push them through with your fingers, right? Exactly. It's perfect. And then, you know, give it a good whisk. And you can sift it just to create a, a nice mixture to, to move all that leavening around. Okay. Oh, you want to mix the eggs first? Yeah, and then we'll just do our liquids. And I like to do all the liquids separate from the dry because, again, I want that egg all the way through the batter. And you can just pour the butter in there if you want. Again, this is our melted butter, so, and this is our homemade buttermilk. Bought these cute jars online. So cute. So you can just put them up and give them as gifts, which is great. How much do those cost online? Oh, these were less than a dollar for really? a jar mm. with the lid. And we're putting about a cup and a that half for this batch. so good. I know, it's just good, and it's fresh cream. Mm. And then we're going to just stir oh. this in. Look, Martha, I made a cone. Wow. Chef Linton, look. Oh, See? my gosh, that's you're, a beautiful cone. It's more like a witch's hat, but it's okay, it's close. <laughs> but you're playing with clay. It's awesome. Looks like a Madonna bra. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're turning red. <laughs> 
last thing I thought you were gonna say. I know, it's like Jean-Paul Gaultier. <laughs> that's what it is. All right. So then we really- That's what you were thinking though, I, isn't it? I kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> and so what's so great about this recipe is this could be cornbread or Johnny cakes or pancakes. It's all about the consistency. Oh, want. oh, I see. So the more buttermilk you add. Yeah, the more buttermilk. So right now we have a good consistency. The pancakes, thin pancakes, and a little, oh. I know. So this could be a cast iron skillet. Right. Oh, yes. So. And now do you know the secret about waffles doing this to them when they come out of the waffle iron? Because if you put that hot waffle on the plate, it would get all soggy, right? Exactly, well, it's like the hot potato. And so thing. this is, oh, look at that look at one that. too. Oh, this one turned out very well. I, I think know, we, nice. I think we slightly overcooked these. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Hot, hot, hot. I know, we have some other waffles here that we had done I think earlier. we overdid these. Oh, yes. All right, and then. Uh, oh, see, they're nice and crispy. Well, they keep well in the oven. Yeah. And then fantastic. you just have this beautiful piles. Okay, I want, I want some soup too, please. Yes, ma'am. And where's that butter? <laughs> well, here's another thing is you can take this butter and just smear it around on the waffle. You, you know, bet. So it gets all in all the little crevices. 